Greetings, Sir and Sirettes, and welcome to Besiege, a game that was recently added to Steam via Greenlight by Spiderling Games, and a game which honestly looks absolutely amazing, even if it is in quite early alpha. In fact, the so early alpha the moon is locked, I've just realised. Um, anyway, back to what I was going to say. Uh, it's a game about creating siege engines similar to the Robocraft create creation system, and then destroying different forms of buildings, people, occasionally sheep, and other such um, weird things like that. Currently only one continent of levels is actually available for, for play, and during this little mini-series we're going to be doing the entire continent, even if that results in a lot of fails. As you can see, this is the first continent, and isn't it pretty? I love the style of this game. And we've only got the first zone unlocked. Now, I will be honest, I bought this game before it was quite on Steam. I bought it from their website. So I did actually have a playthrough, and if I was correct, I think I got to, yeah, just the perimeter wall. I didn't play much of it, because even then I knew I was going to end up recording it. So I tried to pace myself, and I got to the fourth level, and then realised I really should stop before... I complete the entire map. So let's play Zone 1, the Southern Cottage. There we are, there's the Southern Cottage, and there's our mission to destroy. One thing I will say about this game is I the I can't get to grips with the um, camera controls. I find it quite difficult. Uh, go away please, thank you. So as you can see, we start off with a block. There are many blocks like this, but this block is ours. And we have several things we can build. The this is basic things like um, steering hinges and braces, motor wheels and such. Then we have blocks like um, regular braces, wooden panels, hinges, swivel joints. There's so much stuff. Steering hinges, there's lots of things. Weaponry, and there's a lot of weaponry. And I'm going to, th I think, I'm going to use a cannon. I think that is what my um, goal is here. But let's make at least a vehicle that can, in fact, move. So um, let's put some wooden blocks here, wooden blocks there, wooden blocks everywhere makes for a happier vehicle. And one single large block in the middle which will house our cannon, which is you. There you go, you're a cannon, well done. So now the cannon, I'm 99% sure if you just fire it like this, it will probably break off the piece it's attached to, which is something I don't really want to do. So what I'm trying to find right now is the brace, there we are, which essentially acts to brace the the thing, it really is simple as that. It's somewhat similar to glue, it holds things together fairly well. So there we are, all lovely and held together. Now I do want some movement on this vehicle in case we have to ram it afterwards. So what we're going to do is stick out the front and back a bit. And if I correct, now if I remember correctly, it's been a bit of a while, we can use steering hinges in addition to wheels to make very sharp turns with the small issue of if you turn too sharply it will break off your wheel but let's just ignore that, let's pretend that doesn't actually happen I don't think we really need too much armour just now because it is the first level so uh, braces and let's attach the back to the middle and that looks like a mighty uh, ugly but fine vehicle space to start it, there we are Okay. Oh, actually, back in a second, so let's just, I just need to check something very, very briefly. Okay, all checked. Okay. And the FPS lag has gone. So, wow, that's very, um... Oh, no, I've done the wheels wrong. It doesn't actually turn. It just moves side to side. I don't care, even if that would actually work. Now, how do you rotate objects? Did that do it? No. So what I'm going to need to do is delete that. Uh, spa no, that's not space. What was the delete? There is a button to just delete single blocks, and I've just forgot it. Ah, X. Okay. No. X. There we go. No, I didn't mean to. Ah, oh, no, everything's already falling apart. Ah, uh, go away, you stupid brace. You're holding everything together wrong. Really? You have to click on that part of the hinge? Okay, that I did not know. Back to what I was doing. So, powered hinge. Now, how do I actually flip these things? That is an issue I've only just thought of. I don't actually know how to... How do you rotate objects? Hmm. That is something which probably is quite good to know, honestly. How do you actually rotate an object that's in your hand? 
to undo that. So, machine, set on ground. Oh, yeah, want to do that. There we are. Aha, it's R. Okay, I knew it was a button like So, it should be... Like... No. Okay, so the left one is now correct. The right one isn't. So, if we just quickly eradicate that and make it the opposite... Ah, uh, which makes complete sense. Now, actually, think about it for five seconds. There we go. Our vehicle can actually turn around like a proper, a proper correct siege engine of fearsome might. I'm so sorry. There's no... Is there actually any people there? Is it just the sheep? How do you set the camera? F1. Excellent. That's a button I end up using quite a lot. Cause it's a very weird camera control. So, let's just pop ourselves there and fire! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice, uh, very anticlimactic thing. Zone conquered. Next zone. Destroy. So I have to destroy the mill. I'm actually quite well prepared for this. I think this robot could probably just do this on its own, honestly. If we can fire high enough. We can! Yes, take that! <laughs> we just kept the same robot design. Brilliant. Ah. Okay. Yes, I know how to do it all. We just takes a bit of getting used to. So, um, yeah. The sheep will actually attack us, by the way. So, I'm going to fire my cannon straight away to set off that bomb. Okay, never mind. Reset. <laughs> what I want to, I want to set off the bomb. I should also mention that cannons only actually get one shot. That's why I'm so eager to reset after I shoot. So, it's back off a bit. Control this isn't the best. And fire! Oh, pizza. Fine, I'm going. Yeah, the sheep will actually attack you if you get too close. The problem is, well, they can set off bombs. So, oh, no, 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 no. Sheep, go away. Sheep, go away. Okay, there's a bomb there. Let's try and avoid that. Get to the point before the sheep get there. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Who says you need to redesign your vehicle? Okay, this is where I got to before. So, let's have a quick look around before we continue. These are archers. They do exactly what you think they do with their... Invisible um, bowstrings, they shoot arrows which do slowly just destroy your vehicle. You can armor up your vehicle which adds weight, but also obviously armor. I won't do that because it's not... Oh, of course. Oh. No, this vehicle won't do this map. This vehicle will not do this map. Let's find out if it can. So, first shot, I want to set off that bomb. There we are. Now, that would be all fine and dandy if I had a way to destroy this second... this mill. The thing is, you can't simply ram into the mill. You can't... Wow! <laughs> One of the archers <laughs> rolled into the cottage. Well, that's certainly a way to um, destroy the building. But yeah, there's going to be no way I can destroy this with what I've currently got. So I'm going to need to have a way to set off the bomb without setting off anything else. Now what I could do, perhaps, is to have two cannons and set them to different keys. So, so you don't have to fire them both at once. You don't have to fire each weapon at once, thankfully, otherwise... The game will be a little bit harder than it already is. So, um, delete that brace. Deleting braces really needs to be easier. Okay. Put that there. Put that back where it was. And then the second cannon can go there. This will be the one I want to fire first. And once again, we'll brace that as, as much as we can so it doesn't destroy our entire wheel section at the front. Try and brace it to the back section there. Okay. So, we'll key map that as V. There we are. So, V and C. Okay, so we need to fire V first. And play. Pew! There we go. I didn't just fire both, did I? I fairly certainly didn't. I'm really hoping he didn't. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Rolling, sir. And C. There we are. And then we just back off a bit. Ah, my lord. <laughs> so many things. There we go. No. Yes. Oh, look at that. Pro skill there, that swivel. Zone conquered, wonderful. Next! Oh, yeah, this is level. Kill 90% of everybody. Oh, something tells me this robot is not good for this. I do see a bomb, however. Let's see if we can get the bomb. Uh, back off and. V! No, it missed, but at least it got a few people. See? Okay, yeah, the swordsman will hurt you if I touch you, I think. I'm not sure of that, though. There we go, grinding. Fear the wrath of my blades. My bladed wheels. No, but... Yeah. Yeah, I've lost my back wheels. I've lost front control. I've lost everything. Okay. We're, yeah, we're dead. We're dead. Okay. So we need something different. What have we got different now? Uh, weaponry. 
bomb. We could actually just place a bomb. <laughs> there you go. Walk into that. Oh, really? They don't set it off, they just touch it? Wait, can I actually arrow each other? Oh, for God, the archers actually hurt each other. Okay, probably don't want the bomb then. Um, what could I have there? We have flamethrower. Ooh. Something tells me that the flamethrower, uh, what, 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 what button is flamethrower? Why? Is probably the best idea. So, wait, take close and flame! Ha ha ha! You all burn, you skelly. No! Oh. We're flammable. I didn't know that. I now know that. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board. So, clearly, fire is going to be a good thing here if we can stay away. So, let's zoom in for a second. Let's go for a full redesign here. Okay, so remove everything else. There we go, we're now a block. I think it's a very fearsome block, but I don't think it's gonna be too much use. And now, how am I going to do it so the flamethrowers won't hurt me, but I can actively get all of them? I'm thinking perhaps a very square shape might be a good idea here. Maybe. A square base. Oh, there are spinning blocks. <gasps> spinning flamethrower. Oh, I, yep, I think that is pro probably the best thing to do here. So, weaponry, no, circular saw is rubbish. Uh, steering, no. Wait, how does that work? Oh, you can just like, steer certain blocks. Cool. Um, ooh! So, I could have an aimed flamethrower. That'd be cool. But no, I want a, I want, I want a spinning flamethrower. It must be empowered. Um, suspension, piston, spinning block. Okay, there we go. How does that work, then? It's just like... I'm assuming that everything on top of it will spin. Ah, yeah, okay, cool. So, weaponry, flamethrower, 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 threat. Is that high enough? So, is that low enough? Let's find out. Turn on the gout! Oh, no, not high enough. Oh, it is, it isn't, it is, it is, but we're going to burn as well. But on the upside, we did kill every single swordsman. Wow. That was a massacre! Oh, no, why did we just win that? No, you know, we may have won that, but I don't consider that a win. I do not consider that a win. So we need the flames to be lower, but the problem is then, is that going to set me on fire? Because the flamethrower isn't exactly sh isn't exactly a, a controlled burst, is it? So, would that get me? Yes, I instantly got set alight then, okay. Um, hmm. How do we do this then? I want to burn everyone, and I want to burn them with a spinning gout of flame. So, spinning block. Uh, powered spinning block. See, I still think that's the way to do it, but I think we have to we have to be a bit different in our tactics, that's all. So perhaps, perhaps if we were just simply able to move, possibly that would I enable us to do it, so just burn some of them as we move off. Might be a way of doing it, I guess? Wow, imagine if it was all cannons, that'd be amazing. Ooh, aimed cannons, that's something we definitely have to look into later. Sure, have a flamethrower pointing upwards, you know why? Because science, that's why. Um, okay, steering hinge, steering hinge, steering hinge, steering hinge. Uh, that, they all point in the right way? Nope, okay, we'll do the same as before. This gets opposited. No. Wait a second. Yes, and that one's... Okay, yeah, so both have to be swapped. Uh, oh, of course I do, because they're, they're both from the back, aren't they? So of course they have to be swapped. Wait, that's not, is it? Ah, what am I doing wrong here? That's what it was before, wasn't it? Oh, there you go. Yep, that, that works. Okay, there you go. Um, adding wheels. Now, is there any kind of wheel armour? I would like some wheel armour, honestly, because it feels like the wheels can get knocked off quite quickly. Actually, I want armour everywhere, if I could. Um, let's see, what do we have? We have just regular... Aha! Metal plates! I'm guessing that's... Yeah, that's obviously designed for the wheels. I guess it could be placed elsewhere, but it seems very... <laughs> conveniently sized. Armour up the... Oh, no. Armour up the sides, armour up the bum. Armour up that, there we go. Go. Oop, nope, there we go. I feel quite well armed in this little thing now. The question is, is it going to do what I want it to do? And perhaps we should have some kind of secondary weapon. 
in case the flamethrower doesn't kill everything in existence, which it very well may not do. Uh, what other weapons are there? There's the circuit. Ooh, I do want to test out the circular saw. How do we do that then? So, weaponry, circular saw. Aha! There we go, we've got a circular saw as well, just in case. Oh, we are far heavier, okay. Let's, uh, Gout of Flame! Okay, stay away from them. They set me on light. They set me on fire last time. We set multiple of them on fire. I see just setting each other on fire. So if you just avoid them now and go for the archers. Oh, 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 oh! I lost some control. Not sure why. Face the wrath of the spinning blade. Oh, that's glorious. Uh, I know, I know, I know. We've won, but can we just carry on? We can. Yes. Oh no, I've lost my top section. That's fine. It hasn't actually got any power left. Is it everyone? I think, I think he's dead. I think that counts as dead, does it not? Just in case, here's a bit of saw. Oh, that saw was awesome! I want to use that more! Yep, I'm very happy we've killed everyone. I think we should end this boat by running into a bomb. No! Ah, oh, didn't mean for space. Fine, I don't care. I, I, I just want to run into a bomb. There we go. <laughs> a glorious end. Next zone! The power of fire is absolute. Oh. Oh, you can save your siege engine. I didn't even know that. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, let's call it um, Flame Saw. There we go. Saved. So, steal and deliver to iron ore. Let's just press play. Ah. How am I meant to do that? Are they grabbers or something? Or is it just a matter of knocking them in? This thing jiggles so much. It's so middle heavy. Um, ah, I just have to knock them in. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is going to be difficult. Um, I'm sure there's some. I'm going to bet a potato there is actually a grabber. So let's just. Wooden block, wooden block. And then. Where's that steering one we saw earlier? There was. There you go. Steering. There we are. And then, how does this actually work? Okay, yeah, that, that steering block just turns with everything else. Can I possibly alter its setting? Okay. Um, how much? One and two, there we go. One and two. So that only spins that, cool. Okay, so then... Put wooden blocks on both sides, so one side can be a counterweight, I suppose, is the idea there. Um, what next? Brace them so they don't break, I suppose. Now this all hinges on the fact, is there actually a grabber of any kind? Suspension, piston, spinning block. Oh, piston. Grabber! Grabs any touch and a piston. Uh, piston might work, I suppose. Oh, a piston would work. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Lafrix had an idea. It's a very rare moment. So we stick this out. Then we put in the... Oh god, control's going all funny again. One second, just going to zoom in the camera as much as possible. It makes it, I find it makes control a little bit easier. So, then I want a piston. Which is... H. Okay. Pretty like that. So that's H. And then on the bottom of that, have the grabber. Have the grab... Have the... There we go. V to drop. H to... Aha! Yeah, that's it. This isn't going to work. <laughs> Good to see it. This looks very, very fragile. Okay, with I've only just realised the main pillar is really, really rickety because everything else is rickety on this vehicle. <laughs> oh my love. Aha! No, I want to grab you. I'm not even high enough, am I? That's a funny thing. I'm not even high enough. Oh, it, it grabbed it and then it instantly knocked everything off because how? Okay. Yeah, oh, several things, I think. First of all, let's add a set of basic wheels here. This should hopefully give it a bit of mo a bit more support in the back. Because currently, it seems like we need it. Second of all, let's, let's brace the actual main piece. That should help. They also attach that to there as well, which would be really cool. There we go. Now, this should help the, the entire thing hold on. Third of all, this needs to be higher. Simple matter of, yeah, it's not going to work. 
I still think, still think it's an idea that could work. Just we need to design it this time instead of throwing it together. Put a wheel there. Put a wheel there. Okay. Um, it's beautiful. It's clearly the most wondrous structure anyone has ever seen. And if you say it's not, you're clearly lying. I'm going to hold it as well as we can with as much super glue sticky tape as possible. This is starting to look very odd. Okay, and then we need the same again. Uh, where is it? The flight weaponry powered spinning block mass no, What is it called? What's it called? Ah, steering. Okay. Oh, I'm too tall. Wow, trying to delete these things is a nightmare. Yeah, come on. Oh, there we go. So I was a little bit too tall then. Uh, do the same as it was before. Like so. And then the same again. One, two, three. Excellent, excellent. I guess wooden panels would support it and look kind of cool. I suppose. And it brights everything up here as well so it doesn't snap under its own weight. Which it most likely will, otherwise. There we go. Key mapper, you are once again going to be 1 and 2. So I can control my robot without controlling you. And then what we did before, powered, uh, not suspe- what, what does suspension do? Oh, it looks like it's bouncy. Probably the clues in the name there. Okay, so that goes there, and once again we have the grabber. So it's V to let go, H to move that down. Okay, let's um, huh? Yeah, let's uh try that again in a second once I've strapped all that back again. Because right now it isn't strapped up. So let's see if this works. Really hoping it does. Because I don't want to just knock them in. It feels like I'm defeat. I'm defeating the purpose of this exercise. Okay, here we go. So H to get down, V to let go. Oh look, he doesn't even bounce anymore, that's glorious. Uh hmm. And grab. Yes! <laughs> and move it for oh, 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 hit, oh hit my own chains up. <laughs> okay, when you've grabbed something, don't move the arm around. Lesson learned. That's really cool though, moving it separately. Okay, hats off to the people who designed this game, it looks wonderful. Yoink! Okay, this is going to be difficult if I can't move the thing. Okay, let's move it. Oh god, this is... Turning is really difficult. Oh, again! Caught my own structure. Perhaps I need to be a bit further out, and perhaps a bit of a counterweight as well on the other side might help. Okay, grab. I say grab the thing, then move it into the other thing. In fact, this time I'll make sure I'm in a position so I can just go straight. Did I mention controlling this, this thing is a little bit difficult? Got ya. Yay, and let go. Okay, one's in. <laughs> oh lord, how am I meant to do this one? Oh, of course I'm going to swap it around, can't I? Ah! I thought of everything secretly. Also, I have damaged my front at some stage. Probably because the the movable wheel sections are kind of hitting their own stuff. There must be a better way to do wheels, and I'll have a quick mess around after the recording. <laughs> beep, beep, boop, missed, boop, missed. Yay, we knocked it off. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to go on, go on an adventure. To move that back into that position. Okay. Got yep. And we're moving and we're moving and the weight is really, really, really heavy. Oh, how am I meant to do this? It's gonna click my own robot again. Fine, just throw it in. There we go. Drop! I'm alive! <laughs> I did it! Look, Mum, I did it, no hands. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh look, there's a person watching us over in there. It's very rude of you. If you should have been helping me, you could have pushed the the ore for us. Can I grab people? Hmm. 
Let's find out. Hello, person. No. Probably could have if it was a bit further down. That was awesome. That was really fun. Next zone. The stand. Okay, so I've destroyed that. Well, actually, we could use the design we've already got. Just put cannons on the top here. Oh, that'd be awesome. It'd be like a one-shot thing, though, because afterwards it's probably going to break. But, you know, I think that's worth it. So let's destroy all that. Weapons. Cannon. And one... You know what? I was going to be a little bit cautious, but let's just fire it once and hope for the best. Do do do. Oh, it fires at us! Ah! You... <laughs> Well, wow, let's do it again. So it fires lasers. If you get too close, it fires lasers. Okay. How far could we have fired from? Ha! <laughs> oh, wait. I forgot. I, I still have control over this, don't I? That is not awkward at all. 360 no scope. Damn it. He's meant to hit when I did that. Hmm. It's not good. Uh oh. Yes! Okay, enough of that. We've, we've beat the level. <laughs> Woo! How far are we? Let's look at the map. So we've done... One to, wow, almost halfway, but I assume it's going to get a lot harder as we go, though. Okay, well, Sir and Sirette, I think I will call this episode here. That was a lot of fun, my word. That was really good. Okay, so next episode is the Thin Side Fort. Ooh, a fort. That's cool. Some proper siege warfare now. So thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode. And I'm looking forward to the rest of this. Probably quite short series. Uh, feel free to give me a like. A comment. A share. All that good stuff really does help. Helps out the channel. Helps out me. And makes me feel a little bit good inside. Also. Um, once the game comes out of alpha. And new levels are made. I will definitely be playing them on the channel. Because it is really really enjoyable. So thank you very much. And goodbye. Do have a nice day. And do take care.